Hey, you got Fox here. Today I got a review of Stephen Paya, 95 overall with a chems. We'll just call him PA end around because PAEA still leaves stress on us a couple years after Madden 15. Plush at 96, 96 power move with the Vernon and the uh, Donald boosts there. You see those plus two, plus two there. So 75 speed. He plays left end. 98 strength. You get 99, you know, obviously with the one more bench. Tackle 95, finesse move 84, but forget about it. 91 play rec. Overall, like very well statted for a not too expensive. I mean, 59k for a left end. Um, obviously, having 96, 96 on block shed and power move is quite um, not glitchy. That's the wrong word, but quite good. We'll just use the word good. We're we're using our words good. So there he is shedding his block, making a tackle. He's number 90. Exactly what you want up the middle. Like you play two, four, five. On nickel, um, he's a great two-four-five defensive lineman because he's got the interior block shed and power move to like make a difference. Can split double teams. Can do all like basically a very great lineman for his price. Almost maybe a better defensive tackle than um, a defensive end because I know ends you got to put a lot in contain frequently. But like in the three-four where you have the linebackers getting the the pass rush pressure, like this is see he just pushed the pocket. You see he got that first. Hit on the quarterback, so we can just push guys backwards, and that's that's kind of nice, you know. They have that interior push along with the rest of your outside uh, force. There, there was more just the block sheds off of it, and that forced that bad throw. But overall, I like this card a lot. Uh, I think it's better than Poe, and he's a quarter of the price of Dontari Poe at defensive tackle. His his bench press chemistry mate, uh, one of the top ones. I don't know when you compare him to somebody like Derek Wolf, though. It's tough to pay 50k for something like a 20k or 10k card. Does Almost as well with that uh, block shed. Um, he's got high motor, yes. Swim move, no. Spin move, no. Bull rush, yes. Obviously, we just saw him bull rush a couple of times. Big hitter, yes. Strips ball, no. So, very appropriate chemistries for him. He's He's got not the greatest uh, pass rush moves, but his finesse moves aren't that high. So, what do you need to spin move and swim move when you don't have high finesse moves that we really take advantage of? There he's disengaging. And, you know, not having top end speed kind of hurts to chase down like Michael Vick. Like, this guy ain't catching Vick. But he's doing stuff like that, shedding off blockers, getting to quarterbacks. So he was surprisingly active, surprisingly good in the backfield of the opponents, you know, dealing with right tackles, I think, which are usually the worst of the linemen or the worst linemen in the game are right tackles. And he did pretty well for you, I think, or for me. I think he's going to do well for you if you decide to get him. Um, there he's making a play. Out of 10, I like this card a lot. So I'm going to give him a 9.0.